Hello guys, Red here and welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about Ob Studio and whether a couple of questions can Ob Studio now record in 4K. Now if um, you've been running the 10 series or you've been trying to record 4K in the past with the X264 codec inside of Ob Studio, you will know that it suffers a little bit. Um, a matter of fact, even with the 2080 Ti with the 264 codec, I cannot make a video matter of fact i can't even shit i can't even stop the recording of the video but um so the 264 codec 4k is no good at all for me at least whatsoever um so nvidia and obs have got together and they've released a new codec called the nvec and you go to output go to recording and it is right there the nvec h264 um, i've got the new version um because this is the 223.2 um, so, if you run in the 10 series, I've, I've seen a lot of people not quite sure, they think they've got the 10 series and they run in the NVEC encoder, so they think it's all good and they, they, they're obviously clearly struggling recording 4K. And the reason for that is because the NVEC encoder, even though you can choose it from the drop down box, it's still encoded on the 10 series with the processor. Now the difference with the 20 series is that the encoding is done on the GPU and as you can see here my encoding is being done on the GPU and my CPU is doing absolutely nothing so um, the load has been taken off my CPU and put onto the onto the graphics card and that is totally different from the 10 series because your CPU is, is, is doing all the work. Um, and as you can see, I'm currently my video encoder is working quite hard, and my GPU is it looks like it's working hard, but I suspect that that's got something to do with. I'm currently recording a six frames a second as well at a bit rate of forty five thousand, but that's just for this video. Um, but yeah, that that that. Oh, let me just cancel that. Um, if I just minimize orbs there now, you'll see that my um, GPU should drop a little bit. There you go it's just bounced down um so that's a little tip actually if you are recording video with obs just make sure you minimize it because it does just change your frame rate a little bit as you can see it's, it's dropped there by a good couple of percent right okay so the question we need answering actually there's a couple of questions the first one is can the 2080 ti with a new onboard nvec encoder actually record games that you're playing at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second and the second question is what bits per second do we need to set it at for our graphics card to be able to deal with it and what bits per second we need to set our encoding at so that we don't get any quality loss from 4k now if you go to uh, YouTube and do a search well go to google and do a search for youtube bitrate you'll actually see from here that they recommend when you record in 4k they want an mp4 container which is fine a codec 264 which is fine room it doesn't really matter at the minute um, and the bitrate they say for a 2164k they want for 30 frames per second they want a 35 to 45 megabytes per second video so I'm going to test two things, 25 megabytes per second, and megabits per second rather, and I'm going to test 45 megabits per second. And I'm going to show you the pitfalls, whether it can be done, the pitfalls, and um, whether when you upload it to YouTube, whether YouTube mess with it, because I think YouTube actually re-encode it and put the video up. So whether, you, whether it's actually even worth doing or whether YouTube actually mess with this. So I'm going to answer those questions. And the first one I'm going to answer is whether the 2080 Ti can cope with any of those settings. So I'm just going to run a couple of videos for you here. The first one is going to be 25K kilobytes per second at 30 frames per second. And the game we run in here is uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This is a recording I did earlier, and this is currently running in 30 frames. This is a video running in 30 frames a second, and to me, it looks quite smooth. Shut that down. 
And the next one's going to be 45 kilobytes per second at 30 frames per second. So this is what YouTube were recommending that you, you, uh, you set your obs settings to. I'll just jump in from one video to the other. I can't really see. You might be able to, but I can't really see any difference in quality from the 45 to the 25 megabits per second videos. And I put them together now, and I'll show you when they side by side. And this is the 25k for 60 actually I don't know what, I'll skip it there's no point in watching it this is the this is the big end one now the 60 frames per second at 45k per second now I know that um, YouTube recommended changing it to 56 kilobytes per second but we're not going to do that and I'll tell you why in a minute uh, sorry about this box up here as well it obviously was recording and it set up and I didn't know it was there None of those stats, by the way, represent the video. Just it just got stuck for some reason. And there you go, fully, fully reasonably watchable, I think, um, and no problems at all. Now I can tell you that I have been recording 60 frames per second at 45k and 60 frames per second at 25k quite a bit over the last couple of weeks without any problems at all whatsoever. So let me just minimize. Task manager minute. I don't think there's any need to look at that. Um, did I cover my stats? Did I talk about my stats? This is the CPU I'm running on the i7 6700. I've got some Shoddy 2100 megahertz, 2100 megahertz memory. I've got an NVMe Evo, uh, Evo 960, I think, 970 maybe, and um, an RTX 2080 Ti, obviously. So, um, so yeah, so from from watching those videos, um, I think I've already answered the question of whether the 2080 Ti can record at 60 frames per second um, up to 45k. Now I've recorded up to 80k, and uh, the encoder's working quite hard. I've noticed a little bit of jitter, but it's doable. Um, and at 30 frames per second, you can go up to 80k, but it's not worth it. It's not worth doing. 40, it's not even worth doing 45k kilobytes per second videos because let me just show you In fact, I tell you what let's put these videos right next to each other. Just pause that put the volume down That over there, let's just fast forward a little bit. I tell you what, fast forward it to the end Matter of fact, I've got an idea. Let's put that over there. Stop it um, and let's load the 25k at 30 frames per second. And we'll pop it right next to each other. We'll have to open it with this. Let's just put them right next to each other. Just stop that sec. Go back. Let's play. Let's play on that one. Oh, that was pretty perfect there. So the one on the right is the 45 kilobytes per second, 60 frames per second. And the one on the left is the... 25 kilobytes per second 30 frames per second now i don't see any difference in video quality and i don't see any difference in it being a higher frames per second they all all looks good and it all looks the same to me so let me just pause it just pause it so yeah this one is a 25k 30 frames per second so at 25k you can see i don't see any difference the only thing i can see a little bit difference is in this little um tent top here or whatever you call it there is slight difference so i don't know why it's got a brighter or higher contrast don't know why that is i don't think it's got anything to do with obs but you can see there's a little bit more detail on the tent top um, but i've scanned this these two right next to each other and i can't see any difference um, it's unfortunate i can't make it any bigger uh, if you have a look at her hair there in the 45 kilobytes per second video minimize that maximize this and have a look at the hair there i know it's hard right it's hard to see just look at her hair look at her hair there you can, you can just make out a little bit more detail in the 45 kilobytes per second one and you, uh, then you can in the 25 kilobytes one so there is small detail difference and it, and it should be there should be 
but um, is it worth going from 25 kilobytes per second up to 45 kilobytes per second just for that reason now the biggest problem you've got with kilobytes per second is it has a massive effect on your file size and as you can see here the 25 kilobytes 60 frames per second video is a lot smaller than the 45 even though they're exactly the same length the 45 kilobytes per second video is double the size of the 25k um, the weird thing is that the, the 30 frames per second video 25k 30 frame, frames per second video is exactly the same size as the 25k 60 frames per second video and if you have a look that's 89k and that's 94k and that one's uh, one second longer um, which is rather strange to me because I would have thought that double the frame rate would mean double the rendering um, which means double the data but uh, I don't know why there is I've tried to research I can't find anything on it if anybody can answer that question I'd love to know why 30 frames per second videos are the same size as 60 frames per second videos maybe it's got something to do with interp I don't know I can't see the reason for it don't make sense to me um, so the sweet spot for me now is obviously because I'm more interested in file size because I've only got a 10 megabit upload and I'm interested in keeping the file size small because I'm not getting a lot of loss or, or it's hardly negligible because I'm getting negligible loss between 45k and 20, 25k and because I'm not getting any because the 2080 Ti can do 60 frames per second I the sweet spot for me is 25k at 60 frames per second and that's where I've been recording all my stuff in to minimize my file size with minimal loss in quality at 60 frames per second and the GTX 2080 Ti can do that all day long I've had no problems with it at all whatsoever so the next question I guess we should be asking ourselves now is can OBS record in 4k and stream in 4k and I'd have to say considering I haven't done any streaming yet I can answer that question in definite next week when I start um, twitching for Wolfenstein I have to prepare for it but um, if we go to our output settings we can see that the streaming the, the bitrate that's required for streaming to twitch I think is 8,000 kilobytes per second and um, since we record in at 45 or we, we could record at 45 but generally since I'm recording most of my stuff in 25 kilobytes a second I don't see any reason why I can't um, stream at 6,000 kilobytes or 8,000 kilobytes per second so I think the ability to be able to stream from OBS at 4k is certain is quite certain um, now the problem you've got is obviously whether your bandwidth can deal with it so let me just show you the problem with 4k bit rate calculator I'm sure that's right we're in There you go that's it that's what i was looking for sorry about that right so um yeah the problem with that with um it's not so much going to be obs now i think obs is capable of sending 4k to twitch the problem is whether your broadband can deal with it or a, a 4k video running at 60 frames per second with a color depth of eight bits per pixel um and a color sampling of probably f well we'll try 444 and calculate that so it's 17.8 gigabytes per second so it's impossible for me to stream at that um, refresh rate and that bit depth and that chroma sampling uh, since I've only got a 10 gigabytes upload limit I can't stream and that that gigabytes per second looks about right as well because the only way I, I, I've seen Netflix send in uh, 4k content to my TV and the, the I, I pressed the info on the on it and it did say 17 roughly around 17 gigabytes per second so that does look like it's right uh, it does say here though interestingly enough that if you drop the frame rate second to 30 and change that to keep that date you have to give that four if you calculate that you can get an 8.9 gigabytes per second which is within my 10 so it's possible I think it's possible to stream at 4k I I, I don't know there's a couple of things with with streaming because if you're um, changing your uh, resolution you gotta run a like a you gotta enforce an encoder to do some rescaling and then that's done on the processor so there's a bit of a problem with 
if you if your bandwidth can't take it and you're recording in 4k and you're trying to stream in 1080 it's putting some stress on 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 the rescaling so i'll know more about that next week and i'll cover that a bit more in detail if somebody's able to to uh stream in 4k please put a comment down below about setting it up for me because uh I, I, you know if it might be interesting um so i think that is it there was something else i think i can't remember if it was i'll just edit it but anyway so there is folks can the is it worth upgrading from your 10 series to the 20 series so you can uh record in 4k and upload those videos to youtube in 4k i mean i've got some uh, videos obviously on uh, my youtube channel so go and have a little look at them and see what you think um obviously if you if if you if you love 4k i love 4k uh the, i bought this 2080 and i'm so chuffed with it i'm so happy and this ob setting for me now with this uh, codec in knobs is just, just like made my day it's totally made my day so if you're thinking of upgrading just for that reason because you want to stream in higher resolution I, I, it's worth it i think it's worth it the extra cash uh if you're thinking of just getting the extra couple of frames a second you're gonna to have to go and do some research on google and and look at frame rates between different games i i know i'm quite every game that i've got on ultra setting at the minute i haven't set anything down i haven't changed any settings from ultra in any game i've played over the last couple of months and i think the biggest issue i've had really is with assassin's creed odyssey which i was getting about 48 to 50 with everything set to ultra that is if you change a couple of settings you can get up to 60 you can get up to 80 uh, you know quite easily so it's not not an issue so i love this card i've got nothing but good things to say about it it is very pricey it's very expensive uh, but it's because i'm putting a lot of videos on youtube at the minute it's serving me really well and i'm really chuffed with it so there it is boys i hope the video has been really helpful um if you've got any questions leave them in the comments below and uh the only thing left for me to say is have a good day bye bye